What's going on guys? My name is John Dew and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own DDoS protected VPN. DDoS attacks have become a more prevalent issue for common people who are just gaming and browsing the internet. And once you're targeted by a DDoS attack, there's not much you can do besides reset your router or wait out the attack. Although to prevent yourself from going through the trouble, you can create your own DDoS protected VPN. A DDoS protected VPN is just like a regular VPN, except it has firewall rules on the server to counter attacks that might come in. In this tutorial, we're going to be using WireGuard to set up our VPN. WireGuard is a UDP only VPN protocol that offers amazing speeds and performance. But the last thing I want to do is talk all of your guys' heads off, so let's get right into setting up your own DDoS protected VPN. If you get stuck anywhere inside of this video, I'm going to leave the link to my Discord inside of the description. There's me as well other people in there who are happy to help. Throughout this video, I'm going to be referencing different links that you guys will need to set up your VPN. I have a blog article that goes step by step with this video that also contains the links and the link to that will be inside of the description. The first thing we want to do is download all of our prequisities. We're going to use the WireGuard client to connect to our configuration file that we make for our VPN. We're also going to need MOBA Xterm. We're going to be using MOBA Xterm to SSH into our VPS server so that we can start setting up our VPN. And to actually set up your VPN, we're going to be downloading the WireGuard install script. We're going to be putting this on your server and running it in order to download WireGuard and it will also put the IP tables on your server. Now that you guys have all the prequisities, we're going to need a VPS to actually run the VPN on. In this video, I'm going to be getting a VPS from Blackhost. Blackhost has a 100 gigabyte per second capacity and on meter bandwidth, so you guys will be safe from DDoS attacks. If you've never purchased a VPS before and you don't know how to go through it, I'm going to be showing you how to do that right now. If you know how to get your VPS, you can skip this part. You guys want to go to Blackhost's website. Once you're on their website, click VPS hosting. There's many different plans that you guys can choose from. In this this video I'm going to be using the cheapest plan. Then you want to create a host name for your VPS. This can be anything and I'm going to be doing mine as DDoS protected VPN. Then you want to choose a location that's nearest to you for the best speeds. For the operating system we want to choose Ubuntu 2204 or a higher distribution. For the control panel choose none and you'll be prompted to create an account with Blackhost then you can check out. Once you purchase your VPS you want to look for an email from Blackhost with your server credentials. Once you found that email we're going to be able to log into your VPS server. To log into your VPS server, we're going to be using MOBA Xterm. Once you guys open MOBA Xterm, you guys should see a button in the top left corner that says Session. Click on Session and then you should have another pop-up window that has SSH in the top left corner as well. For the hostname field, you guys want to refer to the email containing your server credentials from Blackhost. Find the main IP address and copy and paste that into MOBA X term. You want to make sure that the port is 22, then you can press OK. Now you'll be prompted to log into the server. It will say Login As, in which you will type Root. Then you'll be prompted to enter a password for the server, in which you will refer back to the email from Blackhost containing your server credentials and copy and paste the password into MOBA Xterm. Once you log into the server, if this is your first time using MOBA Xterm, it will prompt you to make a master password. This password protects and encrypts all your server credentials. Now that you guys are set up and logged into the server, we can start configuring the VPN. To begin, we'll make sure that your system is up to date and we'll also install WireGuard. To do this, type sudo apt update and wait for that process to finish. Then you guys want to type sudo apt install WireGuard to install WireGuard. You might be prompted with a yes or no question in which you want to type Y and press enter. Now we want to put the WireGuard install script that we downloaded earlier in the tutorial onto the server. To do this, you want to navigate to the script that you downloaded and drag it into the left side of MOBA Xterm where you see the directory and all the other files that are inside of your server. Then we want to grant that file proper permissions and to do this, we will type chmod plus x wireguard dash install dot sh. Then we want to run the wireguard script and to do this we will type dot slash wireguard dash install dot sh. Now you will be prompted through the configuration process of the wireguard VPN in which the first question being the port for the VPN server. We're going to be using the default wireguard port which is 51820. It will already be entered by default if you just press enter. Then we're going to make a client name for the configuration file mine is going to be John. Now we want to choose our DNS and I'm going to be using AdGuard DNS to limit trackers and advertisements. To do this, I'm going to type six and then press enter. Then to begin WireGuard installation, press enter. 
Mind that, along with installing WireGuard, that script that you just ran put all the IP tables you need to protect yourself online from DDoS attacks. Now the configuration process is finished. There's a little QR code that you can use to access the configuration file, but I'm just going to be downloading it from the directory of the server. It should be a .conf file and the name of it should be the name of the client that you chose. If you don't see it, press the little green refresh button on the top of the directory and it should pop up. To download that file onto your PC, simply drag it onto your desktop. Now we're going to connect to the VPN with the configuration file that you just created. To connect to the VPN, you guys want to open up the WireGuard client that you guys installed earlier in the video. Then on the right side of the WireGuard client, you guys should see a button that says import tunnels from file. Click on that button and then navigate to the configuration file that you just downloaded from the server and open that into WireGuard. And then to connect to your VPN, all you have to do is press activate. And if you guys want to make sure that you're really connected, you guys can go to ipspy.io and you guys can see the server details there. After setting up the VPN, if you guys restart the server, the firewalls will drop off. If for every reason you restart the VPN, just uninstall WireGuard from the server by running the WireGuard script again and then reinstall it and go through the setup. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video or learned something, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. It means more than you know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.